So you'd have to be living under a rock, basically, to not have heard about Ozempic or Wagovi or what's the generic version, which is semaglutide. These medications have changed the game, right? Because everybody's talking about them, everybody wants them, and they actually do result in a significant amount of weight loss if you take it. But they're not the only medication that's out there, and they're newer and better ones being developed, but there've also been ones that have been around for a long time. Um, so we're gonna talk about all that, and this isn't meant to like be all and end all for these medications. Certainly happy to do a deeper dive if people want that, so comment, tell me, and we can do that later. But today it's really more gonna just be an overview and you know, just to sort of familiarize yourself with some of the things that are out there. Uh, I'm Dr. Evan, a pediatric bariatric surgeon who's been treating kids with obesity for over 20 years. And uh, I think that what we're talking about can help anyone, kids, adults, parents, whatever. I'm glad you're here with me today and let's uh, talk about what we all wanna talk about, which is how do we treat our obesity? So everybody wants these new medications. Everybody wants their Ozempic. You've probably seen influencers who are using it or talking about it. Some of them don't even need it, frankly, and that kind of makes it hard for those of us who need it. And that's actually part of the problem. There's a supply chain problem. You may have heard about compounding pharmacies, which is a whole nother topic, which we're not gonna talk about today, but it's how like the online, um, programs get medications to you when others can't. Uh, again, another topic we can talk about in a deep dive if you guys want, so comment and let me know. But before the GLP-1 agonists, so that's what these drugs are called, the semaglutide type drugs, and they've been around for a while. Um, they just didn't induce weight loss until recently. Um, but beyond those medications, there are other medications that have been around for a while. You may have heard about Qsimia. It's a combination of a couple different medications that have been used for weight management for years. Um, and actually both Qsimia and the generic form of Qsimia is fentanyl and topiramate. And the uh, uh, semaglutide, uh, which is a generic form of uh, Ozempic, both those drugs are actually even approved for kids down to age 12. So they're pretty safe and pretty effective in the right hands. So again, I'm not the one who's gonna be telling you which drugs to take. But if you're interested in them, bring it up to your providers. Let them know that you know a little bit about it and talk it over with them and see what they say. Um, there are hurdles with getting a, your provider to prescribe them. Like some providers are still not even willing to treat obesity, which is crazy, but it's true. Um, there are insurance hurdles. You know, your insurance has to pay for it or, or approve it. And sometimes that can be difficult, although your provider should be able to help with that. Um, and then as I talked about before, there's this thing about the supply chain and they can't even make it. So many people want Ozempic that they can't make it fast enough. There's even an FDA has a actual list of drugs that there are shortages for, or semaglutide is one of those medications. So the uh, typical way you would get one of these medications is that, you, you know, your provider prescribes it, sent to a pharmacy, pharmacy tries to get the insurance authorization. If they don't, your provider has to either write a letter or fill out a form or sometimes even call somebody on the phone and argue on your behalf for that medication. And then sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. And that's why some people end up going to these compounding pharmacies. It's a super complicated process and I can't even get in, you know, can't get into the weeds with that in such a short time as we have today. But again, if people want to talk about it, let me know because we can. But those difficulties with medications and then they sometimes do, some of them do have side effects if they're either used inappropriately or even if they're used the right way. Sometimes they do, just like not everything is perfect all the time. But the whole medication issue is one of the reasons why bariatric surgery or metabolic surgery or weight loss surgery, has a bunch of different names, has become more popular with both adults and with kids. Um, in fact, again, I've been doing weight loss surgery on kids for 20 years, so it's been around quite a long time. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. We're gonna talk about surgery. Um, and I'm a surgeon, so obviously I'm biased. I think it's a great option for some people, but not for everybody. And some people need medication first, and then they need surgery. Some people need surgery first, and then they need medication. It's a whole thing. Like we, it's, I've stopped trying to tell people what's best for them. And hopefully other doctors out there are starting to get the message that we shouldn't be telling you what's best for you. You should be telling us what's best for you. 
And that's another message we want to convey here is that, you know, patient comes first. You are the reason we do this to help you, not to help me. Okay. Um, next time, like I said, we're going to talk about surgery. So if you want to hear, if you like that topic, tune in, subscribe, post, share. All right. See you next time.